So we're here in uh, Enchanted Rock, in a national park about two hours outside of Austin. And uh, we camped out and this morning. I woke up and I was feeling really stiff. Like my back was stiff. I was really tight, aching. We did a lot of hiking yesterday. And today at two o'clock, I have a live training you know, that we do every single week on Saturday. And we were yesterday, we were planning on, we found some spaces there on the rocks, you know, and we were thinking about filming out there. And this morning when I woke up and Natalia was asking me, you know, like, so do you want to stay or you want to go? I knew that if I was to think about it right there and the way that I was feeling, my answer would be to go and go back home. And the reason why is because I wasn't feeling really strong. I wasn't feeling very energized. I wasn't feeling very, um, very comfortable. I was aching, I was uncomfortable. And so I knew that if I was to think about it, my decision would go to, yeah, let's just, let's just leave. You know, let's just leave because it feels easier. But because I knew that and I didn't want that to be, uh, to be the factor, you know, to be the decision factor. So what I did was instead I just went into my practice. I walked, I went to use the restroom, I came back and I just started to go doing my practice. And yeah, the flow practice and about, I was almost through with the practice and it was about time to make a decision. The practice, the uh, training, the live training was at two, it takes two hours to drive back and it was about 11 then. And so she asked me, hey, do you, so what do you think? You know, we need to decide, you know? And by that time, my body was feeling relaxed. I was feeling loose. I was feeling very clear. And I decided, you know, let's let's stay. Let's film it here. You know, let's do the live training there on the rocks. And because logically it made perfect sense. You know, it's a really cool spot, it's an awesome view. We actually have internet, you know, which is interesting because this rock is huge. You know, it's basically like a giant mountain made of granite. So it's like this really cool scene to go and have a training and have like a, a Q and A. But the important thing was I made the decision when I'm feeling good. That was the important thing. Too often times when people, when they make decisions, if they're not feeling good, they don't realize like how big of a difference that they're, that the way they feel in their body is affecting the way they, they decide on things. If somebody's not feeling good, all of their decisions is based on this this emotion of not feeling good or based on the energy level of low. How am I going to decide on what to do in this work, decide on what to do with this personal life, decide on these things based on a low energy, based on not wanting to move, based on not wanting to do much? How would I decide on things? And it influences like everything. And vice versa, you know, when we're feeling like strong in our body, when we're feeling energized, when we're feeling like very clear, when we feel like we're able to go and do things, when doing work, when doing things isn't a factor, we're not trying to prevent it, how will we decide on our decisions? How will we decide on our choices? And I think that's the, that's one of the real life effects uh, flow training it's like giving people the tools to be able to get them to feel better in their body so they're able to to have the best type of choices the best decisions for their life this happens to so many people you know we're walking i hear people talking about you know, like they're getting ready for the hike and people are talking about all these problems and you know we're just because we're sitting we're sitting uh we're sitting getting ready just hanging out and you can hear the conversations you know so many people are so uncomfortable, tight hips, tight back, tight legs, tight this, and they just feel so uncomfortable. And if they just knew when people have a, the tools, when they know what to do to get rid of the uncomfortableness in their body, when they get rid of the pressure in their head, 
they are empowered because they're empowered because now they know how to take care of themselves. They know how to get themselves to feel better when they're not feeling good. They know how to raise their energy up when their energy is low. They know how to increase the circulation inside of their body when their circulation is blocked, and they know how it feels like when their circulation is blocked. They know how to get rid of a stomach ache when their stomach is not feeling comfortable because maybe they ate too much, or they ate something that wasn't good. You know, they know how to release pressure from their body. If I'm if I have achiness here, what do I do? That I think is. I think it's wonderful, you know. I think it's really wonderful, and I think everybody needs to know how to do that. And so, the way that we teach people how to do that is simply to follow a systematic regimen, a systematic routine. You know, that's called a flow practice. We call it morning flow practice because you do it every single morning because it sets up the rest of your day. It clears out everything, opens everything up. Makes you feel good, so you start off the day feeling good, and then it affects every one, every part of your decisions moving forward.、It、gets rid of stress, it gets rid of pain, it gets rid of tension. And as somebody is doing these 44 moves over a course of 60 minutes, and they're practicing the seven principles. They start to learn every one of these moves. They start to have a understanding of it more and more every day when they do it, gain a little bit more. And over time, when they are experiencing some type of discomfort in their body, they can just use one of the moves. And I'm gonna—I feel it here. Let me take one of these moves and get rid of the pain here.、I、feel tension here. Let me take one of these moves, get rid of the tension here. Man, I feel like so foggy. Let me do a couple of these moves and get rid of the fog. It's like people now can—they know how to access their body. They know how to go and turn their body on. They know how to, like a mechanic with a car. You know, a mechanic with a car is never worried about what's going to happen to his car. You give them a couple of tools, and they know exactly what to what to do. But we become like the mechanic for our body, and when our body is not working properly, when our mind is not working properly, we are the mechanic. We know how to fix it and how to do it on the spot. We don't have to go see a specialist. Not all the time for everything. We have, we are the first line of defense. We have the ability to go ahead and fix it right away, instantly, right there on the spot. Tools? You don't need tools. Your hands, your feet, your arms are the tools. You are the tool to fix yourself. You don't need a special gadget of any sort. That's the power of this practice, and that is the effects that I've seen for myself, and the people that I've taught are now seeing that as well. I've been doing this practice now for about five years. This practice has evolved and evolved into what it is today, and it will continue to evolve. And again, the main purpose is to be able to give people the tools to take care of themselves. So, if you're watching this and you haven't done the practice already, start doing it. You, know, you can find the practice on YouTube. You can find it in other places. Maybe there's links here in the video. You find the practice and you start doing it, and you learn these tools to help you be able to be the mechanic for your body. Thank you guys for joining in in today's practice with me. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic rest of the day.